Hi, I'm Tim Heider from Mitsubishi Electric. I'm the product marketing manager for solutions and networking. And I'm here today with a brand new demonstration to show off our CC Link IETSN network. So CC Link IETSN is a protocol that runs on TSN technology or time sensitive networking. This is a technology that we're very excited about and hopefully in this demo, we'll be able to demonstrate that for you. So on the left side here, we have the master PLC. So the master PLC has multiple different networks. We have green for ethernet IP, we have blue for standard ethernet, and we have orange for CC Link IETSN. All of that network is passed up to a CC Link IETSN ethernet switch. That switch is connected over to a remote station, which also has a PLC. So this is simulating two different systems, a master system and a remote system. It also has all the networks. So we have the blue for ethernet, the orange for IETSN, and the green for ethernet IP. What the demo is gonna do is the master station is going to spin a disc, this six inch vinyl disc. Uh, on this disc, we have a white dot for mark sensor. This mark detection sensor will come up to a high speed input module. The high speed input module will then go to a high speed output module and flash a bank of LEDs. Similar to vehicles, if you are familiar with tuning a timing belt in, a, in an automobile, it's a very similar concept. So basically the goal will be to spin this disc and flash and be able to see the TSN logo clearly. We're gonna take the speed and the position of this disc and pass it through the network using CC Link IETSN over to the remote station. So both discs will be at the same speed and the same position every single time. What we're gonna vary is the LED strobe. So on the left side will be TSN and that won't change, but on the right side, we'll change to ethernet and ethernet IP and we'll see what that looks like. Let's begin. I'm gonna turn the demonstration on and we're gonna start out in CC Link IETSN mode. And as you can see, we can clearly see both TSN logos and they're identical. And that's the benefit of a deterministic network. So CC Link IETSN is deterministic. We have other cyclic based networks like ethernet IP. So let me change to ethernet IP. Now it's close, but it's about 20 degrees off, 25 degrees off. And that's off because it's a four millisecond network and there's a little bit of time delay. It's not deterministic, so we can't guarantee its location. We could also send the strobe signal with ethernet. And now with ethernet, it's even more delayed. And that's just general ethernet. When we send a packet out, we don't know when it's gonna arrive. So again, that's the difference between uh, just ethernet or a cyclic ethernet network or a deterministic network. So now that you've seen what determinism is, what we also have is a time sensitive network. The time sensitive network will prioritize the TSN packets and guarantee our motion control even if we flood the network with other traffic. So let me go back to ethernet and we can see their ethernet strobe. In a minute, I'm gonna load up the network with traffic. What we have is a Linux module. This Linux module, we've created a network generator and it's gonna flood and try to shut everything off. So I'm gonna turn that on and what we can see is immediately this packets sometimes are lost. So it, there's no strobe at all. So what we see on the, on the right side now is in ethernet mode, we're losing packets and those packets are much more varied than they were before. When we switch to ethernet IP, we also lose packets. So there we lost packets again. It's a little bit more under control because it's a cyclic network but we do still lose packets. And that would be a concern if you have a motion control system uh, and you wanted your machine not to have packet loss, not to have some damage or um, anything else due to network congestion, you, this would be a concern. Now, when we switch to TSN, I'm gonna turn the network traffic generator on again. It's a countdown of 30 seconds. What we can see is perfect every time. I can leave this run the whole 30 seconds and this will not have any impact. And there we've gone through the entire network traffic load and we've had zero impact to TSM. So hopefully you can clearly see why we at Mitsubishi Electric feel that TSN is a game-changing technology, why we chose to create CC Link IE TSN to be a protocol to run on top of that technology. It's gonna help you guarantee your motion control application on, on your equipment without having any negative impact as we move forward with IoT and other traffic that's continuously being asked of the network.